Order in the court. Uh, hey, it's me, Eric. I wanted to let you know that the Face Jam gavel will go on sale for a food court live stream that we're doing Friday, September 8th at 11 a.m. Central. We'll go live at 11 a.m. At 11, 10 a.m., the gavel will go on sale. And then we will be bringing you food court rulings live and direct. A video version of your favorite segment from Spit and Silly? It's true. Check out Face Jam Food Court Live this Friday, the 8th, at 11 a.m. Central Time. See if the ruling is in your favor. Also buy a gavel. That's kind of the whole point, right? Enjoy the show. Those smooth sounds mean it's time for Spittin' Silly, the Fortnite podcast where anything can happen, and it probably does. I am your host, Jordan Sweers, alongside my co-host, Michael the Blondeman Jones. Michael, hi. Hi. I'm Ken. Oh. It's oh, fading. Is that still though. going on? Yeah, is, it's is, fading. What are you going to do? That's still going on? I don't know. Well, I, what I didn't plan on, Jordan, was I, I matched for the movie. Uh-huh. I, what I didn't plan on was embodying it for life that's true <laughs> that just sort of happened. buying the outfits and making and then it. when you start to deny your reality mm-hmm. you're just left uh, floundering in a sea of screams oh huh so i'm ken that's cool. yeah you really Have, like in your in his head it's that dance number every every oh, moment yeah. of the day <laughs> <laughs> in the nondescript void have you considered cutting your hair very short and just having bleach tips like I did in the eighth grade? Well, I'm going to cut it soon. Okay. But then the... You gotta so keep then the, it'll you be gotta, sort of blonde. Yeah, keep the and bleach then yeah, and then spike it. Yeah, I'm not going to tell mm. him to suck it out. No. Like, cut the hair and suck the blonde out. You could out. dye it a different color. This yeah. is also... Oh, to go. This is also what I did in eighth grade where I bleached my hair. My yeah. hair, My hair was like kind of medium length, maybe a little bit longer than yours mm-hmm. is right now. And uh, never really... Did much else to it. It kind of no. just grew out. Didn't yeah. really. Looking back now at pictures, I'm like, why did I do that? Why? why? I did why the I, same. I did yeah. the exact same thing. Why did yeah. I let it grow I went out? To Barbenheimer, so I have yes. an excuse. Yeah, you have an excuse. I'll never say I why. Simply, I simply was in the eighth grade in 1999. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so well, that's I had that in a shirt that said shorties, but the S's were on the shoulders. <laughs> for uh-huh. me, it was 2004. So I mean, oh, that's I, fair. Okay. I don't think you I were, had it. You were definitely on the other side. Yeah. Well, I think I weird. bleached my hair once in 2000. Yeah, as well. that's about. I was 13 or 14. Yeah, felt felt like the right. Usually, the only reason to do it is if you're on a baseball team and everybody does. I wasn't. But yeah. neither were we. I was on a basketball oh. team. But oh. he was looking yeah. at a baseball team. Anyway, what are we what are we Nick, doing today? Nick's oh, ooing yeah. and eyeing. So um in the the last episode of yep. Face Jam, we talked about uh Ooh. fast the concept of fast food Whoa. breakfast. Yeah. And uh how it's kind of a blind spot for me. It's not really something I, I partake in outside of like McDonald's. Okay. Mm. But then but then and Gracie then, got mad at you. Yeah. Because I hadn't had Chick-fil-A uh breakfast. So when we were coming up with ideas for what to do for Spit and Silly, yeah. uh, I was like, well, how about we just review a couple of breakfast uh, options? And, and then we also said, Gracie, it's up to you what you want right. to get. Yeah. And she replied, well, I picked Chick fil A. <laughs> <laughs> she was so excited to do it, too. Well, we're re- like, don't tell us. Don't tell us. Right. And it's like, well, we know what the fuck she's going to get. Right. She replied with like a smirking emoji. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so it's definitely Chick fil A. Um, so I walked in here and was like, I thought you were going to like bust out when we start recording, but uh, I knew what it was. So it didn't really matter. So what did we get then? What are we, what I are we looking at? Holy yeah, shit. What am I in? Oh my God. Michael's into it. Hand her the microphone so that way she can explain what we got. Okay. So I got five spicy chicken biscuits. Okay. And then I got, I believe three hash brown scramble burritos are what they're called. Whoa. And they have the nuggets okay. inside. Mm-hmm. I got a 10 count chicken mini and then some orders of hash browns. And they gave us a shit ton of honey. So. Have you guys ever <laughs> had this before? Yes. I mean, n- you know I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think um, so. I don't think so either. Y'all are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is ooing and cooing and shit. He's As like he screeching eagle style. So what the hell are these little things? Are okay, these the so this are is those the chicken, chicken mini? Yeah, those minis? are the chicken oh, What is that? Precisely? It's a little chicken bite a little inside of like Schubert's a little biscuit. Roll with a nugget. It's a shooter. <laughs> it's a oh my god! Shooter. Delicious honey something on top. A Schubert's it's Roll, like I believe. It's like they've... They've jammed it into the bread as it was baking. So jam it in your mouth. Or something. So it's like a little nugget that they just put in a small piece of bread. Correct. It's a good amount of bread for a little nuggy. So you get 10? I got 10. No, I mean. (laughs) Normally, I think you get like four. 
<laughs> How many is in like an order? I think four. <laughs> four, ten. Well, there's a four count or there's a ten count. Uh. So it depends gotcha. how you're feeling that day. Because yeah, four didn't go into ten. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's why I was confused. You can oh, do it sorry. twice, but there's right. a remainder. Right. Yeah. Be able to no, there is a four and there is a ten. Mm-hmm. 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 No, I stole two from the kitchen. <laughs> they said, my pleasure. Um, <laughs> there. What is that? What is that? He's waving around. Sauce Hang on. From Culver's. Where did the ranch come from? It, it came from the bag. He brought the bag. <laughs> and he, he has water burger, spicy ketchup in his head. He, he never oh. leaves home without it. Goes. Can you hand me that water? This is probably uh, the driest thing I've ever eaten. It's very dry. It, it's a little. Uh, it's a little too much a lot bread. Of bread good. It is. It's a little too much bread for me. I haven't even started some. We don't want it. Into everyone's reaction. We don't want it. He keeps waving the fucking yeah. thing around like a magic <laughs> wand in circles, saying "sauce." Sauce. <laughs> the little hash brown coins. Yeah. I think this is my preferred hash brown. This is style. fucking delicious. It's if, like if eating gonna... French fry tater tot situation. Yeah, it's it, this is a better form than than a tater tot. Yeah. But I think I like the McDonald's, like, what would you call that? A medallion? An amulet? Yeah, an amulet. <laughs> am- these are... <laughs> It's all got to be coin based, right? Yeah. The McDonald's ones are amulet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's, uh, yeah. 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 It could go in a necklace, maybe. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. A, yeah. It's like a big. Jewel. It's a big statement piece. I'm kind of getting a look. I'm kind of just going across everything here. The burrito yeah, appears too. appears to be a lot of egg. The burrito is weird to me because it's not an item you would associate with Chick Fil A. Like all the the chicken sandwich stuff all makes sense. The little the little shooter or whatever mm-hmm. it's called. Now burrito is okay. They're they're thinking outside the box here with this. Thinking outside the bun. This they is can't say that. Or Taco Tuesday. They can't say yeah. that either. <laughs> Great. They now, won. Now yeah. we're sued. Talk, talk yeah, they won. won. But then, then now they're the, gonna take it. The little guy wins <laughs> once again. Taco Bell did it. Congratulations, Taco. <laughs> oh, oh, no one else is allowed to say it. Oh, okay. Oh, weird. Um, I kind of like the burrito. I didn't think I was gonna. Li- I thought it was gonna yeah, be kind of whack. Good. No, it's pretty good. Um. I typically, remember back when I, I was eating it. Is this weird? I don't typically mix chicken with egg. No, that's normal. Yeah, that, that's why I think this. this is such an interesting say thing for them to put out. Mm-hmm. That is not normal, but it should be. My go-to at McDonald's now, because I live on apps, right? You save money that way. You're a fool if you don't use the app. And you roll up, and you just, how many people do you know they order like shit? They're fucking stupid. And it's like, oh, this idiot's driving. They're like, could I get, oh, uh, and you just want to strangle him. Uh, ordering about, with his mouth. No, nah, I'm talking about whatever, because that's just like, you're throwing spice. I'm talking a legitimate, uh, like, you don't know what you're getting. And they make, like, changes to shit. It's crazy. And, and none of it's going to work. It's you, crazy. If you're that person, you don't deserve to customize your uh-huh. order, okay? Mm-hmm. You hold your breath and get in and get out. But that's why you live in apps. But that's why you live in apps. I can order for anybody and just go, here's the number. Anyway, what I get at McDonald's now is I get the McChicken Biscuit, which is just their biscuit on their, um, what is it? The, the uh, I can't think of the word. Biscuit. biscuit. The chicken biscuit's on the biscuit. I wanted to go what? bun or <laughs> bread. I thought, th- here's I the thought thing. he was getting me with like a no, no, no. You said, no, you no. said, you already said the word no, Here's the thing. Chicken biscuit was like a proper noun. <laughs> and I just didn't think. And then I was trying to think about a biscuit as, as an item. It? Right. right. Yeah, so yeah, it's, right. it didn't make sense a at all A chicken biscuit and a biscuit are two different Very things. different, as you just witnessed. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I get that. I add one folded egg, because you can do round or folded, and then one slice of cheese. It's mm-hmm. the best fucking thing there. Uh-huh. I don't know why they don't sell it. Huh. It's unbelievable. Like, mm. just put it on the thing. Mm-hmm. It's so goddamn good. So you're a chicken egg guy. I'm a chicken egg and one slice of American cheese and McDonald's guy on a biscuit. Okay. It doesn't feel don't... right to me. Like, no, it's right. There's something you weird about in chicken your and egg. I think it's because, you know, it's the the egg and then oh, is the, that what the, it is? the hatch. The hatch <laughs> hang, on, hang on, he's going to explain it. <laughs> the hatched form of said egg in in there with it. It's almost like so. That's bad or what? It's almost like you're creating some sort of multi generational like wipeout in my mouth. Yep. Okay. Um, I will say that chicken with that's egg in this in this biscuit. burrito, pretty good. But the last thing, Gracie, explain to me the spicy chicken biscuit. It's just a spicy piece of chicken on a biscuit. Okay. But yeah. you have to put honey on it. Got to put oh, some honey on it. Okay. Oops. Oh, we have a lot okay. of honey. That's fucking good. I appreciate the size of it. I will foremost. say, like, it's like a handy little size comparatively to the, the uh, little shooter bites. I mean, we can put honey on it. I'll do it to be polite. Yeah, I did it. It doesn't. Brazil. No, it doesn't. It does not need it at no, all. No, but uh, this this biscuit is soft as shit and like 
the chicken, not and not dry at all. The chicken's fucking good. It better be. It's what they do. That's true. They fuck cows too. What? Not like their thing. They're like we fuck cow. Oh no, they don't kill them. Uh-huh. That's what it is. Yeah, they're trying to. The cows are trying to get you. To I eat thought the they chicken. were trying to save them for a reason. You think they're just going to let him go? Um, we just said we weren't going to kill him. I like it with the honey. It doesn't need it. No, it doesn't. Not at all. I'm trying it's just it with a special additive. He needs it, though. Nah. A special additive. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does he add He shot that down depth. angrily, by the way. It he makes it, honey. yeah. No. Yeah, it, it tastes like the food with honey on it. Instead of it making some sort of new flavor, it's still kind of separated. This is uh, This is not a bad little breakfast here. Yeah, I would also say that like as fluffy as the biscuit is, mm-hmm. it's still like way thicker than the chicken or at least on mine. Yeah. Um No, it it, it it is. It's considerably yeah, thicker the, than the, the chicken. The bread to meat ratio is always a problem with biscuits. Mm-hmm. But it does help that it's not particularly dry or falling to bits Mm-mm. like um, some biscuits do. I feel like I've won everybody but Jordan over. Well, Jordan I mean, you didn't have to do anything to win me over. <laughs> yeah. Just so I'm you know. I, I mean, what you're getting is Jordan Classic. I'm mulling. Uh-huh. This I don't, is this no, is why take we, a bite and I just, make up my mind. Gracie, this is why we started the podcast. <laughs> it was Michael going, "Food on a plate?" And then Jordan going, "Hmm, food on a plate." Food on a plate that somebody didn't cook at home? <laughs> food on oh, a plate. Did, oh, did to what mom, end? Did your mom make this? <laughs> uh, I'm going to stick with McDonald's. Um I'm not a fast food breakfast guy. My wife loves fast food breakfast. I'm, it's just not, it's not for me typically. It's so heavy to start my day. It is. But man, if I was near a Chick-fil-A, this spicy chicken biscuit, that thing fucks. Put a piece of cheese on that? Dude. Some egg. That I, was good. I could see this sauce, being yeah. being a heavy thing. As small as it was that mm. I was commenting on, like... That bread, the the biscuit really fills you up fast. It's it does. like it's a heavy. So I don't usually get biscuits. It's a heavy load. Yeah. Um, that the burrito though, I think I think that's what wins out. I think that's it's pretty good. I um, like the burrito too, but that chicken sandwich was fucking amazing. It I think we can all agree, most disappointing <laughs> thing, little shooter. Yes. I the bread just adds nothing. I could have just eaten the little nuggets. It's mm-hmm. like it's like they had chicken nuggets and they went, Well, we can't sell nuggets for yeah. breakfast. I don't know, put it's them be- in these little pieces of bread. It's because the nuggets are so good on their own. Yeah. Like you could just order those and yeah. they're delicious. That like just adding this bread, although like the bread on its own is good. Mm-hmm. They're just not two things that they don't, don't need, need to them together. together. Yeah. yeah. That's- I think they're the most popular breakfast item, which is why I got them. I would not say they're my favorite. Really? But I felt like we had to try them. Sure. What's your favorite? The biscuit. Spicy chicken biscuit. That's I have good. to appreciate that Gracie's eating the spicy chicken biscuit while it's still in the wrapper. And she has, there's like clearly a system here that she's worked out. Yep. Like, this is like not the first time greasy. she's eaten. Yeah, 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 exactly. This is how she eats uh-huh. her, her Chick fil A yeah, breakfast. That's absolutely. I, I, can, professional. I see, can see you doing that in a car mm-hmm. as you're driving somewhere. Mm hmm. The, for me, uh-huh. it's I hate I hate, as you know I hate getting messy, sticky, yucky, greasy 100, hands. Hundred percent. And like that, hold the wrapper thing. That's just like a per, like a percentage reducer. Yes. But my hands are still messy. To yeah, some it'll extent. never be perfect. So but... I just I got to get through it and I got to wash them. If something's gonna annoy me, I'm gonna I'm gonna like the second I, I I'm gonna get honey on me somewhere. It's just exact. I was gonna say. That's why, to me, adding honey to this meal is doing all, almost nothing for me because I'm so afraid of getting sticky, and then that's the rest of my day. The whole day? No, I, Can't yeah. just I'm not pop gonna wa- over to the sink real quick? I'm not going to wash these hands, baby. That's true. Mm-hmm. Well, you wash those hands, but you can never really get the stick off mm-hmm. of honey. It's not out of his mind. Off, but it's not doing anything for you, you know what I mean? And it's like, I don't is know. Is that why you keep licking them? Your fingers? Yep, that's okay. why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, then you got to worry about bears. That... And see, that's the thing a lot of people don't consider. What if your fingers get bitten off by these bears? And yeah. You can't, if you can't just put your finger in a trash can because they can open them. That's get true. And that's where I've been putting my fingers special, inside the trash can. You got to put like a special lid on it. Or I something. don't get how those bears can open it, but I'm not smart enough to open it. <laughs> I can't figure out the fucking <laughs> trash cans. We talked about that before where like the people who design those bear proof trash cans say the overlap yep. between the smartest bears and the dumbest people is bigger than you'd think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that they can't make it fully bear proof because then it, it's like then it's too human proof. proof. Yeah. yeah. The thing the thing that I've seen, which which to be fair confused me as well. 
but like it it exists in the world and people either go oh or they go i uh what have you seen those magnetic door locks they're just like on the inside it's like uh-huh. a deadbolt basically yeah yeah and you have to like pull it out and yeah. then swing it around mm-hmm. so when i moved into my house my house had some of those and i never had them before anytime ever someone's in my house for the first time they're just like oh like if they're trying to go in the backyard, they just like shake the door. It's just like I don't, and they're, they're like claw at it, and kind of like pull on it. And I go, no, you hit it like this, and it's it's <laughs> like it reminds me of like uh like a trick box, like a mm. magician's box. Mm-hmm. We're like, right. what's the secret? Yeah, it's it's it blows me away every time. It's and just, I'm just like man, it's just, people just go, what is it? <laughs> Never seen this before. No, what is that? There's another half the burrito. I'm good. I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Nick just Nick? said no. Whoa. I don't think Nick, okay. So for but, what? I, Do you want I know a what. Of it? That's a good. Um, that's a good. But yeah. let's see if it makes oh, yeah. it to the end of the day, though, because we're doing three of these, right? Here, or two? How many are we doing? I think we got two more after this. I, He's I think, gonna eat it by then. Just set it over by Nick. Yeah, and it, yeah, yeah. Put it, it near him, and we'll let you know. It, it won't just survive. The table and said, "Put it here." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cleared off some space for it. Also, he said we have to save room. And what we're doing the rest of the day, there's only one more eating thing. Yeah. And it's not anything you have to save room no, for. No, he's right. Mm-hmm. He's right. We do. Pew. Hey, what's up? It's me, Eric the Hedgehog, here to give you the ads. And I'm doing it as fast as possible because I'm Eric the Hedgehog and I'm known for being fast. Hey, this first ad is from HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre portion ingredients and special seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Zip, zip. Skip trips to the grocery store. Count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, fast, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Here's the thing. You've heard us talk about HelloFresh a lot. It's because we love it. We love HelloFresh. Some of us get to eat it. Some of us get to smell it. Michael and Jordan talk about it nonstop. It's because they love it so much. When it comes to options, honestly, more is more. That's why HelloFresh's menu includes 40 recipes and over 100 add-on items to choose from every week. They're constantly changing it up. Michael and Jordan are constantly picking and uh, new things and saying, oh, I love this. I love that. I would also love to know how I can get it. Maybe they can tell me later in this ad. When you get HelloFresh, you know you're getting top-notch produce since it travels from the farm to the door in less than seven days. That's incredible. I really enjoy that. I really enjoy HelloFresh. We love HelloFresh, and that's why you can too. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 Face Jam and use code 50 Face Jam for 50% off plus 15% off your next two months. That's HelloFresh.com slash 50FaceJam and use code 50FaceJam for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. Very easy to remember. We call it 50-50-15-2. So it's HelloFresh.com slash 50FaceJam. Use code 50FaceJam for 50% off plus 15% off your next two months. Easy, right? Go sign up. Try it out. Zip, zip, zip. Do you want to make sure that you're protected, but none of your speeds go down when you are protected? Guess what? That's what I do. That's why I use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is uh, is helping you all the time. ExpressVPN is like using a smartphone and using a case on the smartphone so that way it's protected all the time. Most of the time, you're going to be fine, but one accidental drop, boom, it's gone. Can you believe that? Don't have an accidental drop on your online times. Every time you connect to an unencrypted network in cafes, hotels, airports, et cetera, your online data is not secured. Any hacker on the same network can gain access and steal your personal data, like passwords, financial details, what have you. It doesn't take much technical knowledge to hack someone, just some cheap hardware. Now, really, a smart 12-year-old can do it. And here's the thing. ExpressVPN is is doing everything it can for you. It has an encrypted tunnel. It's like uh, building a tunnel underground that no one else can get to for your super secret sensitive data has its super secure network. Uh, it would take a hacker with a supercomputer a billion years to pass through ExpressVPN's encryption. It's easy to use. One click of a button on an app and boom, you're going. I love ExpressVPN when I need to connect uh, to merry old England and watch AEW. This is, it's important. There's no other way I would be able to do this stuff without ExpressVPN. That is why I use ExpressVPN and I really enjoy it. Secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash face jam. That's E X P. R E S S V P N dot com slash face jam. The important part is the slash face jam. And that gets you uh, three extra months free. What? ExpressVPN.com slash face jam? ExpressVPN.com slash face jam. Zip, zip, zip. Eric the Hedgehog. 
So do they have other things at, on the breakfast menu that you didn't get? Yeah, is that, is uh, that everything? No, let me pull it up. I'm forgetting uh, what, yeah, I, those, what I did. What uh, do you drink when you get this? Because it's so fucking dry. Yeah, do they do orange juice or is that you just, oh, just water? They do orange juice. I just didn't know what we were into today. Oh, no, that's fine. What do you get? Oh, I normally just drink a water mm, from my house. Okay. Okay. Do you ever dip the sandwich in the water? Okay. Oh, all right. God. Save it for the save it for the next one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like okay. it's a cookie. <laughs> of the items I didn't get, uh-huh. they're. I mean, okay. They have the basic like bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Interesting. Didn't, so like we needed okay. to beat it over the head. I wouldn't get a bacon, egg, and cheese from right. Chick. You're crazy. Right. You're getting chicken. Yeah. Why would you do that? Like yeah. what um, the yeah. fuck? Well, I, I would know. also I'm say why. Yeah. With you. Yeah. Like, no, that would just be. Person. I'm just thinking like. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> go to the drive thru again. We get the little hash brown medallions and a bacon, egg, and cheese. Are you sure? So, this is Chick fil A. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Not burger fuckers. You want any, uh, you, want, you want any chicken? No, I, uh, I'm trying to eat those cows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, with bacon? I think this looks like Michael. There's a chicken, egg, and cheese biscuit. Whoa! There you They're go. smart. Of course, it's on the it's menu. Of course I mean, it's they, like, this is an extensive menu if y'all. It's a lot of breakfast. That's a lot of scrolling. That is extensive. Oh my God. There's a lot uh, of items. A lot of variations of the same item, I would, must yeah. say. Would you like, get, you can make the burrito with bacon, sausage, chicken, would whatever you, get, you want. Would you get this burrito if it didn't have chicken in it? Some of them don't. What would it have instead? It would just be bacon, egg, and cheese, but from Chick-fil-A. Probably not. Yeah. You don't think it was good? I don't really was good? get burritos ever for breakfast. Yeah. It's yeah. not my thing. I'm not a breakfast uh, burrito person. Me neither. God, I'm glad I didn't go with my other choice. I love... <laughs> I love breakfast burritos, but not from Chick Fil A, a fast food place. Yeah, right. A, a breakfast burrito right. back home is the size of your sure. forearm. Right. Yeah, and it's that makes sense. Like massive, it fucks up the rest of your day. A breakfast burrito back home is. We would get one called the, <laughs> that. My friend called the Destroyer, which is not what it was called. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, okay. It had. Bacon, sausage, chorizo, egg, hash brown. You talk about getting filled up on breakfast, and that's what Holy he would hell. do, and that's why I called it the destroyer. And destroyer like, of the rest of yeah, your day. Yeah, and it's like, oh, that's uh, that's fucked. But boy, it's fucking good. When you wake up and then you have like a construction job, and you eat that, you need to eat one thing at yeah, the start of your yeah, day. Yeah, well, there you got to go. eat the one thing, and then you save the other half, and that's lunch, baby. That with a white can monster. <laughs> God, have you? Uh, it sounds awful. <laughs> oh no! Hey, oh. you got to keep going. You got to keep energy. Your work truck just has like a stink to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it smells like cigarettes, but you don't smoke, and you don't know how that happened. You probably sent these TikToks to me, but for a while there was a period of time where on my for you page. Uh, it was uh, like the breakfast or or the the lunch brigade for like construction workers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or yeah, like they're yeah. all they're all showing off their lunches and like what they got. And, Have like, you seen the, these at all? The, no. the presentation, uh, what it is, and like it is, and dudes, how they're eating it. It's dudes on a construction site, which to me is such a great sort of mm-hmm. like we're all from different backgrounds. Right. We are not the same kind of guy, but when it comes to lunch, it is like. <laughs> What'd you get packed? Yep. And you can always tell, like, this is the married guy and his wife. This is, like, the leftover, like, refried beans. And we had this stuff, like, last night. And it's all packed. And it's put together. Another guy's got, like, the sandwich that his wife, again, his wife made. These guys are, like, putting all this together. And then it's the 23-year-old guy who's new. And it is just, like, a bunch of rice (laughs) inside of a package. And they just give him so much shit it's like he's gonna cry yeah. it's so <laughs> fucking funny it's just like what is this sun-kissed tuna <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're like but I what are you rice. doing and they're like get a load of this <laughs> yeah, guy they, they just it's a guy filming all of them yeah. up close going and down the line and like you can tell that guy's just dreading you, oh yeah because getting, they're going they're the going game one game. by one and everyone's like oh that looks good oh hell yeah you got the good stuff the guy's like oh we had a carne asada last night and it's all chopped up and it looks all good and then it's <laughs> just a guy with fucking a bought a hummus with some cracker <laughs> they're just like get fucking right dude it's so sad uh but that's the best. I love a construction lunch. Construction mm-hmm. worker lunch is fucking great. Uh, super funny. I think it's... Did you ever have that stuff? A lot of sandwiches. Yeah. A lot of sandwiches. Yeah. Were you stopping at, like, 
you had like Wawa up there or no? You got a Wawa, but there were some local places. You had yeah. a Tasty Sub. Yeah. Tasty Sub was a was local it, joint. Was it Tasty T A S T E E? I don't even remember. Mm. I don't think so. Like it Tasty Freeze. Yeah. It was, it was either regular uh-huh. or like no E. Mm-hmm. I think it was just regular. Yeah. They went, hey, we're not fucking around. You want a good sub? Mm-hmm. And then we're like, yes, I do. That place was out the door every day at lunch, like line in just small little sub shop, and then like at the door. You know, someone opened the door and go, back up. <laughs> no for room. fucking sandwiches. Yeah. Was it all like blue collar uh, a lot. construction type? Not, not, it wasn't like a construction spot. It was just like a regular spot. Yeah. But like if you worked in the area, you're like, oh, Tasty Subs nearby. Yeah. I mean, we had plenty of, plenty of real restaurants. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a lot of diner-esque Oh, thing. that's right. You I were see. talking about that. You yeah. big diner. Yeah. So it's like even a sub shop is more like they sell subs, but it's more diner-esque of like the seating arrangements and shit. And they have like bar stools still, maybe not at the counter, but like at the window. Yeah. That was uh-huh, pretty common. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So you could just go and just, just <gasps> well, you look out the window and then you, just, <laughs> and then you leave. I'm a, I'm a fan of uh, getting my stuff, like my errands done in the morning, kind of like before the day starts. Uh, that way, when you're done with work and kind of like the evening, you don't have like a bunch of shit that you have to mm-hmm. do. The thing that kind of comes with that is that when I'm sort of wrapping up and then heading into work, you, you get there's a uh, 10, 10 30 or whatever. That's my favorite time to hit a quick trip around here because that is construction worker lunchtime <laughs> and it is dudes, white can monsters, the roller hot dog. The roller taquito, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. the oh, bag yeah. of ta- like yeah. Takis. Those hot dogs mm-hmm. are usually pretty good though. Too. I'm I'm a fan. I know I'm like a like a trashy little gremlin man. Uh, I'm a big fan of a gas station lunch. I'm a big okay. Well, Nick gave me a huge thumbs yeah. up, like so too, fast, too enthusiastic. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like how into. <laughs> I mean, you know how much I talked about Seven Eleven. It's the same. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's a yeah. gas station. Lunch. It's, you get it's the tuna, the tuna, the hot dogs. But for some reason. I don't like a fast food breakfast. <laughs> I'm all about a gas station lunch. It's and different. it's not, it's three hours between them. Yeah. And for some reason, boy, that makes all the difference. You know what's interesting about Chick fil A's breakfast to me is that it feels like an extension of Chick fil A, which mm-hmm. you would think is like, oh, yeah, well, that makes sense. But for me, McDonald's breakfast is so different from the rest of McDonald's. Yeah. It is like their regular menu. It's almost like a subgenre. It's of like a its different own channel. thing. Yeah, it's, it's like Nick mm-hmm. Jr. Yeah, <laughs> like it's McDonald's, <laughs> but it's McDonald's breakfast. Yeah. Right, Mick. Y- if someone was like, Dude, "Could I get a hamburger?" You'd slap him in the head. Yeah, like, what right. the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> They don't make hamburgers at McDonald's breakfast, <laughs> but you're. Yeah, it's but a you're right. They should really do that. They should just have separate McDonald's yeah, restaurants that are <laughs> that are only breakfast. My wife is going to love this one restaurant <laughs> so fucking much. But uh, they we, still only operate at breakfast hours. No, so they're no, only open they gotta five go all hours day. a day. We went to uh, actually went to uh, Vince Young's Steakhouse with uh, Ray uh, Narvaez and, and his wife Tina the other day, and uh, we went and. His wife got my wife a shirt. It's like a sweatshirt, and it has on the breast. Mm-hmm. It's a stitching of her McDonald's order that oh, she cool. gets. Oh my for goodness! Breakfast. That's pretty oh cool. God. That's her favorite. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Thing. Wow. Yeah. What a gift! Yeah. You'll never top that. No, I. Yeah. She, I, I went. Wow, that's the most. <laughs> I, I looked at her. That's the most thoughtful thing anyone's ever gotten. You right, and, but like good thoughtful too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, not like it was thoughtful for me. Yeah. You don't give a shit about it. Yeah. But I, I thought <laughs> it is. A, I love that the the whole order doesn't start with like, oh, she gets like the sausage biscuit or what. what one large Coke <laughs> is the first Jesus item Christ. that's embroidered on it. That's because, awesome. Because that's the reason she fucking gets it. And then she'll sit on our couch with like a blanket <laughs> holding it, which she's so fucking small, holding it with two hands like a gremlin <laughs> reading a book and she's all fucking curled up and the dog is just sitting waiting to be like, maybe for me also when you get up and forget you left this here. <laughs> He's very smart. Um, I, McDonald's breakfast should be its own restaurant. It's so separate from McDonald's. Do you think your wife could just wear that sweater and like go into the <laughs> McDonald's and just point, <laughs> point to it and be like, she doesn't even have to say any words anymore. <laughs> That'd be like, cool. That, that's like living on apps, but like, that, <laughs> you know, you don't even have to bust your phone out. You just out. start, you just, every year you add another language. Wow. Cover your bases. Oh. That's pretty cool. Then I leave go, the country, I'm covered. Yeah, we go, start, start going international <laughs> and it's like, it's just embroidered in different spots. And here's it is in Spanish. 
un, uh, grande coke. And you go, oh. Again, Nick looking at me and being so enthusiastic very makes good. me very nervous about what I've said. <laughs> um, we're not necessarily rating this at one, of a, one out of 100, but we can say one out of 10. What do you think? Usually we do thumbs up, thumbs yeah, I don't down. Know what the hell you that, know what? I don't know why we're. But that makes no sense. You know what? what? <laughs> Cut all that part out. Um, we we don't rate one to hundred, guys. You know how we do it. Uh, thumbs yeah, one up, out of ten. Down. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> uh, big thumbs up. Yeah, I'd get it. Yeah. Do you I mean, think not this, this exact meal, but it's do you good think breakfast. if it was on your route, you could make it? Oh, part for sure. of your for sure. routine. Yeah, for sure. I don't really go to Chick Fil A. There's not, it's not really me? near me. Me it's not either. really near me or it's where not. I'm going. It's just kind of like out there. It also and they're always packed. They're fucking packed. It has the multiple lines line outside of In and Out, and their yeah. line is it's a little intimidating. Mm -hmm. Their drive through. It's, it's, yeah. it's just so many things to it. Mm -hmm. There's people. It's like it's like a people fucking are walking runway. around and, and it's like, like, it is, like this, this way, way, this order. way, this it's way. It's two. Yeah. It's two lanes being directed to converge into one lane. It's like, but there's people walking around with like iPads. Yeah, it's, it's also which it's is like I'm parking at Disneyland. Yes, it's yeah. a lot. But it's also if you don't go there a lot. Nine out of ten times, it is packed, and mm -hmm. they're taking your order before you get to the menu. Yes, yeah. Like, yeah. What do you want? And I just go, thank fuck. I just want the spicy chicken yep. deluxe right. sandwich. Good, good yep. thing. Good thing I know, right? Because I, the menu's down there. Imagine if it was your first time at Chick Fil A, and you go, "What do you?" You have? can't even flee because you're stuck in the line. <laughs> right? One hundred. Get out of your car and right. run away. Yeah. You just. I mean, you have no other choice because what are you going to do? Ask for help? Uh, uh, ask, I, ask the person who works there they what probably, the menu is? They probably no. have like a menu or even now it might be even sicker where they're like, oh, do you need a menu? Like, oh, yeah, thank God. And then they'll hold up a QR code probably and go, here it is, fucker. Yep. Get on your phone while you drive. Bitch. We don't have paper, motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, here's 5,000 napkins. <laughs> My pleasure. So big thumbs up from Michael. Jordan, yeah. what do you think? I'm going to give it a thumbs up too because- wow! um, I mean, how do you thumbs down? This? You can't. That's you crazy. can't thumbs it down. It's not like you they can't fucked it up. Middle road it. Yeah, and mm -hmm. and I like they they integrated the thing they do best, their chicken, into a breakfast burrito, which I was mm -hmm. really impressed with. Um, I wouldn't get the biscuit. Um, do they have other like buns? Bun things you can I'm get? Sure they do they have? Um, like, I believe they have a McMuffin situation. <gasps> I'd probably go Jesus with that. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Do what? you think okay, the microphone muffin? picked up his fucking? Uh -huh. Gasp! <laughs> like when I when heard. she said McMuffin situation, and it was like what he like the noise he made when he saw his firstborn child. What's a what's a what's a McMuffin situation? By the way, English, it's muffin. An English muffin. I know. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. McDonald's. I got a little tripped over my tongue. No, it's fine. McDon no, no, but it's McDonald's. Fine. We like, knew what you meant. He really knew what you meant. <laughs> but McDonald's, like they got a little bit of a stranglehold, and they they, do. like people, I I would say maybe as we like as the years go on. I feel like, and maybe this is why I grew up, like English muffins, you yeah. all the time. That's why I was so pissed about that last piece of shit. Yep. Good English muffins. I don't know that that translates around the country or with like a younger generation. Most people probably think they're just like McMuffins. Because mm -hmm. that's just, that, that's that's how you describe that's it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's a good description for it. Uh, English, English muffin, muffin sandwich, sandwich equals McMuffin. Equals McMuffin. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> all right. So thumbs up for Michael. <laughs> Thumbs up for me. Thumbs down from Nick. Uh, I think, <laughs> Gracie, I think this was a successful yeah. showing for no, this Chick This feels like a big win for me. Yeah, yeah thank, you, thank you for sharing. Like a big win for me. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for sharing your favorite breakfast. I was hungry. Us, yeah. We're recording three uh, Spit and Sillies today. And uh, we had, <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> Hurry up. We had Gracie uh, produce all three. So these next three, if they're good, good job, Gracie. If any of them are bad, hmm. Bad job, Greasy. Well, we'll, we'll edit that out and just Bad say job. Eric did it. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, I just won't his... be here for the future episodes. <laughs> it's his management style. That's what it is. <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to Spit and Silly, if you dared. Don't forget to listen to a new episode of Face Jam next week. That's right, next week. Wow. What did we eat last time on Face Jam? As of airing this, do we know? What was it? Oh, it was Wendy's. I wonder what we're going to eat next time. Tell a friend about the show where we do whatever we want. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>